to Kentucky Sports Radio on Talk Radio 1080. Welcome back, Kentucky Sports Radio, 502-571-1080. Now happy to be joined on the phone by the newest uh, kept recruit for UK football, Yeah, the UK recruiting coordinator, Vince Merrill. Vince, uh, first of all, I won't say welcome back because you didn't go anywhere, but uh, congrats on your new deal and coming back to UK. Oh, yes, it, it was stressful days, but uh, very glad to be <laughs> Talk to me about the decision process process there. First of all, you know, tell us kind of what happened with the whole Michigan thing, and how did you make the decision to end up coming back uh, to to Lexington? Uh, you know, I too much. Well, the one thing I will say, you know, I have a lot of respect for Jim Harbaugh, and uh, you know, situation where uh, you know Ohio, Penn State, and that being in the Midwest. Uh, I, I assume I was the guy that they wanted to talk to, uh, you know, just for my reputation in Ohio. Uh, the decision to come back, it was, it was, it wasn't hard, but you know, it was a real thought process for my family, uh, people I'm close with, and, and failed that I, you know, coached and played with, and in college, and everybody gave me their spin. But you know, at the end of the day. Uh, it was mainly, you know, the people here, and I'm being honest, I, I didn't realize how much the people here really didn't want me to leave. And it was nice, and I'm trying to sleep, and uh, my my uh, iPad would be going off because it would have about four or 500 just direct messages from just fans telling me not to leave. And, and, and that, that really that really meant a lot to me. Uh, you know, it meant a lot to my family and uh and then the last part was, you know, my relationship with Mark and our coaching staff. I mean, it was, it was, it was a thing where it was really going to be hard. It had to be something real good to make me leave. And you know, it, it, at the end, it just came down to just the relationships I had here and knowing where this football program is going. Yeah, I want to expand on a couple of those things. First, about the fans. You know, I, I've said I've never seen an assistant coach. The fans have been more sort of wondering what's going to happen with than you. And you mentioned like on Twitter, the comments that people wrote to you and the way that people in town when you when they would see you that that did that that really had an effect, huh? Yeah, I mean, you know, it, I, I kind of didn't think it would, but uh, just the overwhelmed uh, support and just people their passion about where this program is going and. And there was just one guy, he, he tweeted me. I mean, I think my my iPad went off at like 1 in the morning. There was a picture of him and his three sons and just saying how excited they was about football and where Coach Stoops was taking his program. And, you know, just little things like that, that honestly, it really did play a, a, a big part in this, just the fans and the people and the people that I'm close to here. I, I totally understand. Now, your relationship with, with, with Mark Stoops obviously played a role. You guys came here sort of have a vision for the program. And I don't think it's a secret that I think you all believe that next year is a huge step in that. How big it was obviously that relationship and the fact that kind of next year is, is such a huge part of what you all wanted to do. Yeah, that, that's true. Uh, you know, me and Mark, me and Coach Stoops go way back. Uh, and like I said, you know, it it, it played a huge part. Uh, I know where this program going. I know where Coach Stoops leading this program. Our staff know where this program is going, and we have recruited. Uh, you know, it's just year by year building this program, and and I'm gonna be honest with you. I, to me myself, I was like, I really want to see this thing. You know, if I would have left and then start seeing the fruit of the labor of, of all the guys we recruited and all the things we did, um, you know, I, I just wanted to really see it through. And then, honestly, uh, Matt, I got to say too, uh, you know, Mitch Bernhardt really played a big part in this too it was like i mean he, he never even blinked it was like i wasn't you know he wasn't gonna let me go nowhere i mean he he really really uh behind this football program and you know I, I hear a lot of people say things you know sometimes about mitch but i can tell you this whether i left or stayed uh he was it wasn't gonna be because of that uh he did everything he had to do to make sure you know i think any coach or anybody stays here so it was a lot of things that I really had to look at and say, okay, it's the unknown over here, but 
I know what's going on here, and and I mean, it just that just weighed out. You know, I, for K- longtime Kentucky football fans, we're used to kind of over the years. Well, if you have this hot assistant coach, and a program like Michigan comes, we're kind of used to seeing them go. And then when you all came, I, I would hear you guys talk about, and then I would hear the administration talk about. We're going to end that perception. And I do think, Vince, you staying is maybe the first sort of obvious example of that. You mentioned Mitch would do what it takes to get you to stay. Do you feel that sort of commitment from the administration, et cetera, to football here, to making this work in Lexington? Oh, yes, from Dr. Capilouto on down to Mitch and Mark Hill and Dwayne Peter, just a lot of all that administration, that team, uh, even our compliance. I mean, it, it's just a lot of things that go into that, that, that the strong support and the academic support that's around the whole thing, uh, our media team. It's just, it, it, I had no doubt. And, and to be quite honest, I had, uh, there was even a, uh, chance that I didn't think that administration was, was, would step up and say, hey, because I know how far they're behind, how big they're behind this football program. So all you got to do is look at the way we recruited and look at some of the other universities we beat out for some of these kids. I mean, this perception is changing about this football team. And I know we finished, uh, we went 5-7, and seven, but I can, I'm on the inside and I can see the growth and the change and the change of our players, you know, from our strength staff. I can see a lot of things. Uh, it's on it. I mean, trust me, this thing is going in the right direction. See, that's what I like. I like talking to Vince, Ryan, because he gets me excited. So we can't talk about specific people, obviously, but, you know, we're in this recruiting uh, session, and we can't talk about specific players. But give me your feel. You guys have got a lot of great stuff already committed. Do you feel like this class is going to finish strong, and are you really happy with where things are going from a recruiting standpoint? Oh, very happy. And I just think not to put, you know, that whole situation on my deal, but I think it sent the message to kids that were committed. I mean, their parents and, and, you know, just wonder, was I going to stay? I mean, people just assumed that I was gone. I mean, just even a lot of our recruits. And then finishing with other recruits, you know, I just want to say this. you got to see here what we're doing here. Uh, it ain't just me. we got We got a great staff. We got a great support staff. Uh, uh, everybody around in this program, this program is going in the right direction. And I think you, people who see it, and even on the national level, like I have, you know, reporters calling me, even my friends, and they was like, man, you guys are going in the right direction. And they didn't, I didn't get a lot of flack for not leaving. They were just like, okay, I see, you know, Coach Steve's got this thing going. And so these last, going down to the stretch of this recruiting, I think, these prospects see that too. And, you know, the fruit of our label will tell uh, in 2015 as we go forward because that'll be our third recruiting class. And I, I really, really like where we're going to be. See, now I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Last thing, and I'll let you go. I know you got stuff to do. The city of Lexington. I know how much you and I have talked about it. You love this place. I mean, you just like living in the city with your family. I know you, I know your daughter's involved in sports here. How much do you just like living in Lexington? Coaches are used to moving. You've been in a lot of places. Lexington is a big part of it for you, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, man, I'm going to tell you again. These fans, I, I don't know. I'm just speaking for me. That really turned this thing and the fact that just made me not even think about when I was thinking over the weekend, it was these fans. I mean, you have no idea how many fans hit me up. Uh, if I go anywhere in the public to the grocery store, I mean, grown men, young men, older women just coming in. And I'm, I'm thinking, like, they don't even know nothing about football. And that played a big part. I, I told people before, well, even when I recruit, I tell the parents, when you come here, just get out into the city and go walk around. And then it'll tell you what type of place this is. So it was going to be very hard for me to leave here because this is a great place to live. And it's a strong fan base. I mean, I thought it was just basketball, but it's not. It's, it's, these people really love football here. And I'm yeah. sorry to be here. 
Well, that's the truth. Well, we hope to see you. Uh, I, I'm advocating Vince Merrill for the Y at one of these basketball games. <laughs> oh, how, how cool that would be. Wouldn't you like to be the Y there, Vince? Throw up the, throw up the, the Y at a game? Hey, man, my Y days are over. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed that first one. You know, when I did that one, I had an orange jersey on. I remember you were yeah. wearing that Broncos thought, jersey. That's yeah, right. But I think people kept They thought it was a Tennessee jersey. So they didn't know what to think. <laughs> yeah, they, they really didn't look in on it. So they you know, may not I, have I, understood. I, and that basketball game, I bought that last night. I think they needed that, man. That, I, that's a good team. That's a good team. I watched it all the way to the end. That was an yeah, exciting game. It was a heck of a game. Well, listen, congratulations, Vince. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Good luck finishing off the class, and uh, I hope we all can celebrate Friday afternoon and evening. We'll see you later. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Bye. All right, there you go, uh, Vince.